I'm Nathan Center, and in this video, I'm going to discuss my recent paper with Maria Steger and Zach Chevron on the effects of asynchronous climate change regimes. We often think of climate change in terms of temperatures steadily warming over time, but climate change can also occur asynchronously. Asynchronicity refers to situations when a region is warming during some parts of the year, but cooling in others. In fact, asynchronous regimes are quite common. Using weather data dating back to 1979, we found that asynchronous climate change is occurring across more than 70% of all of terrestrial North America, with cooling regimes being most common during the boreal spring and summer. If asynchronous climate change is this prevalent, what does that mean for the species experiencing these regimes? Recent work suggests that asynchronous climate change regimes may be more problematic for many species than rapid warming. This scenario is well illustrated by the Hudsonian godwit. Godwits are long-distance migratory birds that spend the winter in southern South America and breed in Arctic Canada and Alaska. Some godwit populations experience rapid warming on the breeding grounds in summer, leading to earlier peaks in the abundance of the insects that feed their young. But these same godwits encounter cooling temperatures while they migrate northward in early spring, causing them to arrive on their breeding grounds later than in the past. These godwits now arrive too late to lay and hatch their eggs during the peak availability of insects. As a result, their young frequently starve, and these populations regularly experience nearly complete reproductive failure. Are godwits thus doomed, or can they potentially respond to asynchronous climatic changes? One possible mechanism by which species like godwits could respond to the effects of asynchronous regimes is through evolutionary rescue. Evolutionary rescue occurs when adaptive alleles that exist in one part of a species' range spread to other parts of their range via dispersal and gene flow, enabling declining populations to respond to new selection pressures. We wanted to know, how are gene flow and population dynamics affected by the spatial configuration of asynchronous regimes? To answer this question, we modeled the effects of asynchronous climate change on rates of gene flow and population dynamics across three theoretical landscapes one in which the asynchronous regimes were distributed randomly, another in which synchronous regimes graded into asynchronous ones, and a third that mirrored the actual distribution of asynchronous regimes in North America. Our simulations showed that when asynchronous regimes imposed strong selection pressures on populations, most populations went extinct because they were unable to disperse and adapt quickly enough. These results suggest that asynchronous climate change may inhibit gene flow across the species range, limiting the possibility for rescuing isolated declining populations. Given the prevalence of asynchronous regimes, rapid warming may not be the most problematic aspect of global climate change, and future work should focus on understanding how nonlinear and asynchronous climatic changes may represent more pressing concerns.